first time that I came to China, I was just a, a small boy. So that's uh, almost 50 years ago. And the changes that I've witnessed here are just extraordinary. I remember when I first came to China, it was like landing on a foreign planet. Around me was a sea of blue and gray, no colors, no cars, only bicycles and people riding them in blue and gray. If we fast forward nearly 50 years later, look at the extraordinary place that China is now, how modern, how developed, how exciting a place it is. So for me to witness these kind of changes is personally such a profound and wonderful experience. The rest of the world is beginning to understand and to acknowledge that China has a very important role to play on the global stage. Some people are still quite uncomfortable with China's position on the globe, but they're going to need to be reassured. They're going to need to increase their understanding of what China is hoping to achieve and accomplish. And if we think about Confucius Institutes and what they do, helping the world to understand China by giving them the tools to of language, of cultural appreciation, language plays a critical role. If you're going to understand or access another country, either you're going to do it secondhand through somebody else's lens, through somebody else describing it to you, or you're going to go and discover it yourself. And language is a key tool in helping you to be able to discover that. He announced an initiative. He said, we're going to bring back 50,000 American students to study in China. To me, this is so important. I actually think that there's still an appetite and I hope very much that, you know, we will be able to realize that and bring that to happen.